the posture is obviously great too. So overall, path is still swinging the way it's swinging. Okay, you're improving low point, trying to get to your front mm -hmm. side. The only reason why the ball went right is yeah. your face is wide open. So you make sure you do your two knuckle grip so mm -hmm. you got to see the dot. And the only reason why you hit right ever is because of the weak grip. Mm -hmm. Three. Both those grips were better and the ball was left of the world in both of them. Mm -hmm. So your arms are still out racing the lower body. Yeah. Okay. So trade response, you live here. Let me have that. If you haven't been on here, the main thing I want you to do is just kind of start on your front foot, swing back so that the it clicks to your, to your backside. Okay. And there's a sound I'm looking for. I'm looking for you that had to have this step sound where it, it clicks okay. and then the carpet skims second. Oh, okay. Okay. So we'll do one where it goes, okay, and it goes like this. Click sweep, sweep or click sweep. Okay. And you're going to have this habit of going forward and it sweeping and clicking at kind of at the same time. Oh, okay. Okay. No ball, just do a couple practice swings. And make them small. It's not a full swing. I want you to do 10 or so. You start off on the yeah. <clears throat> a lot smaller swing, just like a little, yeah, okay. almost a pitching wedge pitch or something. Okay. okay, so you got all your weight your front foot. Yeah. That's fine. Didn't move the back at all. Okay. Okay, so it takes a bit to get used to, keep trying. Yeah. I don't know if you noticed, but the, the front foot where it stepped into the front and the forward swing all happened at the same time, mm -hmm. instead of it being like a throw where you, you step before oh, okay. you throw. And that last swing, it kind of looked like you threw and stepped uh -huh. at the same okay. time. And that's a big reason why you hit fat, a big reason why you hit poles mm -hmm. and hooks. A little better. A little better. Have a little wider stance so that it, that's better. Good tempo there, so you're doing a smaller swing. That's good. That was better. Okay, I'm liking the sound where there's a step mm -hmm. and sweep, step, sweep, back, step, sweep. Not bad. Still not separated enough, meaning uh, there wasn't enough time between the step. And okay. the sweep. Okay. okay. So all of this is the simple word when I texted you is like, okay, finish position. This is yeah. kind of what I mean by mm -hmm. having a better finish position. Okay. Also having a better separation between torso and upper body. Mm -hmm. There's stretches and exercises you need to be doing. Holding this and being able to get better at that. Mm -hmm. Holding this still and then being able to do this. Mm -hmm. And the better you get at being able to control that, the better you're going to get at being able to do this in, into your mm -hmm. Golf swing creates more power, it creates less fat shots, and it will minimize the pull. Mm -hmm. Okay. That looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. Okay, so I want you to look at this, at that last. Swing a little more to the right through impact. Still looks like it's swinging left. I'm going to do a trick for you. We're going to go for the top here. Okay, you're going to swing back and you're going to try to get this bumping prior. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. And this is going to be able to set you on a little better spot. When you go up here, you have a tendency to be like this too much, and then when you oh, swing okay. forward, it only has a place to you know, a little place that has to go is that way. If I can get you kind of bumping like this, and you know, kind of almost preset your spine angle backwards. This will help you shift into your front foot and also fix pass at the same time. Yeah, so it's sort of on. Okay, so come over here for me, right here. And watch my spine. I'm going to make this visual of my spine. You have a habit of getting up here and being this way too much. Yeah, okay. And then two things happen. One, uh, since our spine's this way, our path goes left. And it's very hard to get to our front foot properly to not hit the pole as well. So when you go back, I almost need you to feel like oh, okay. this is staying put and your, your secondary spine angle is kind of shifting this way. And then even more of it goes that way at, at, at your transition. So some sort of secondary spine angle or side tilt that you need to try to play with. <clears throat> I'm going to do them together with you. You go back. Okay, and then you're going to feel it push into your front foot. Good one. Okay, and then you can go and miss. I'm going to do it one more time. You can go. Okay, and then miss, miss the ball. Is that weird? Well, <laughs> yeah. Okay. It was weird. So I could just say have your path more into out. Yeah. But I'm doing it this way just to. Mm -hmm. Hoping that it sticks or it hits you in a different way. Because, like you said at the start, we've worked on path before, and then you realize, yeah, when I work on path, all I do is shoot my arm straight down the line. I, you yeah. need to be coming from a better spot. Mm -hmm. You can't be fixing it on that side when all the problems are back here. You go, man, you're good. Yeah, good one. Okay, so just some tests. Let me have that. You stay there. I want you to mirror me. Put your hands in your hips. And all I want you to do is I want you to try to have side bends. So you lean to the side. Okay, let's do this one again. This time I want you to shoot your hip just so you're good. Okay, let's do that again. Shoot your hip. Okay, and any pain? Yeah. Okay, what do you, what do you got? Well, it's, it's sort Decided. of shoot, Yeah, well, I think it is. Yeah, I don't know. It just shoots down here. Okay. Do it the other way. Go back. Okay. Any, any pain on that? Uh, nothing there. Okay. No. Maybe we need to be left-handed. <laughs> <laughs> so, so this is this is a big piece to yeah. why you might be trying to avoid sciatic. Maybe. Yeah. You, you did say it yep. low back yep. and it shoots on that leg as soon as you do that. Yeah, right, right there. Right there. That. that is a move that you need yeah. to help path, to help lower body, to, to, to minimize the left, to create more power, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. There's 400 ibuprofen right there. <laughs> yeah, because when I do that, that's for sure. So you're, you're now at a point where I can't. I need you, and I need you to have a, a body specialist. I need you to go to see Marcus, the guy that we've hired, or uh, uh, even Ron Jobson. I don't, do you know Ron from the club? Uh, I don't know. So there's, I need to do some research for you because that is a big piece okay. to why you might not ever be able to move the body you want to move. Because mm -hmm. as soon as you do that, it hurts an old injury. Yeah. So you were probably doing that on purpose to make it not hurt, mm -hmm. and then, then you're. No, so the, so then no wonder you try to yeah. Yeah. go down the line and fix it all. Yeah, that, that right there really that gets you, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Right there. Shoots right down the leg. That makes it hard. That makes your arm. That, now your arms have to work harder here. Mm -hmm. If your body's not, you, you're going to have to do your right elbow thing. Your trick and move trying to yeah. so that that becomes more important. If you can't do that, oh, okay. so then you're gonna have to put more onus on your hands, mm -hmm. and that's fine. We just we need to know what you need to need to do to get the job done. So let's play with packs. Okay, you can try to follow that line. <laughs> 